Say farewell to electric vehicles. Toyota has unveiled a groundbreaking emissions-free hydrogen engine that promises to render both EVs and traditional gasoline engines obsolete. Curious about how this innovative engine works and what you can expect to see it on the roads? Get ready for a seismic shift in the automotive world as Toyota's hydrogen engine revolutionizes the industry. Electric vehicles were once hailed as the future of transportation, with numerous car manufacturers jumping on the bandwagon. Tesla, a trailblazer in this arena, spearheaded the success and skyrocketing popularity of EVs. Legacy car makers like Mercedes-Benz, with their EQ lineup, and Audi, with their e-tron series, followed Tesla's lead. By the way, would you choose a Tesla over its German rivals? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Toyota, guided by the now-retired CEO Akio Toyota, took a different path. Rather than diving headfirst into the EV trend, Toyota released its first and only EV last year, the BZ4X, a model that didn't quite capture the imaginations of Toyota enthusiasts. Toyota maintained a commitment to internal combustion engines, arguing that they could be more eco-friendly in the long run compared to battery-powered EVs, which require rare minerals like lithium and reliance on the power grid. This belief drove Akio Toyota to invest in fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs, and hydrogen combustion engines. About a year ago, Toyota introduced its first hydrogen combustion engine, a 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder adapted from the beloved Toyota Yaris GR. This engine is already being hailed as one of the most significant technological advancements in automotive history. Toyota has, even after Toyota retired, decided to continue the development of hydrogen-powered combustion engines, and their most recent breakthrough was a state-of-the-art 5.0-letter naturally aspirated V8. What makes this hydrogen combustion engine different from its more conventional counterparts? The 5.0 V8 functions very similarly to the 1.6-liter cylinder. Just like the 1.6, the 5.0 is also a derivative of an already existing engine, which is the 5.0 V8 found in the Lexus RCF. However, unlike the 1.6, the hydrogen V8 isn't developed exclusively by Toyota. Toyota actually decided to collaborate with Yamaha, just as they did with the 2JZ and the Lexus Alpha A exclusive 4.0 V10. Both of these engines are mind-blowingly reliable and performing, which is why Toyota decided to renew their partnership with Yamaha once again. Albeit a derivative of the engine found in the RCF, the hydrogen-powered V8 will be significantly different than its more conventional counterpart. Hydrogen is a gas, not a liquid, and for the engine to be reliable, Toyota and Yamaha decided to literally reinforce every single part of it. Hydrogen's air-fuel ratio of 34 to 1 is considerably different from the air-fuel ratio of petrol engines. Hydrogen displaces 29% of the combustion chamber, which means that the air will be left at only 71%, resulting in a lower energy content compared to gasoline. To convert the 5.0 V8 to hydrogen, a lot had to be changed so that the engine could reliably endure the switch. First of all, Toyota and Yamaha completely reworked the fuel injectors and adapted them to a gas instead of a liquid. Next, Hardened valves and valve seats needed to be installed alongside considerably stronger connecting rods. Non-platinum tipped spark plugs and a higher voltage ignition coil were also necessary to allow a more brisk and reliable ignition of hydrogen. The hand gasket material was changed to a more durable one. And finally, a larger crankshaft damper was fitted to ensure the vibrations from the added pressure remained unnoticeable. Fuel injectors needed to be replaced with those designed for gas instead of liquid. Usually, the power output of a converted hydrogen power engine is, at best, 85% of the petrol version's output. However, these extensive modifications allow Toyota and Yamaha to create an engine nearly as powerful as its petrol-powered twin with around 450 horsepower available to the driver, which is only 25 horsepower less than the Lexus RCF V8. So, when will we start seeing this beast of an engine on the roads? Be on the lookout as Toyota has already started putting out their hydrogen cell kits for trucks and big rigs. Toyota has fitted a bunch of prototype Kenworth trucks with FCEV kits so that they can completely ditch traditional engines kits so that they can completely ditch regular internal combustion engines while also avoiding going fully electric. The V8 hasn't yet been released nor tested. However, 
Toyota is fairly adamant about eventually trying it out on both sports cars and trucks. With a tweak gear ratio, it could prove to be one of the most versatile engines currently available. However, they still need to tweak it a bit before it's production ready. BMW has actually shifted to making EVs in the past 10 years with their BMW Li lineup, and honestly, doing so makes much more sense than going hydrogen combustion. Now granted, there are benefits of using hydrogen combustion engines. However, at the moment, electric vehicles are both more powerful and more environmentally friendly. You see, the potential of using hydrogen as a fuel source lies in its eventual possibility of becoming a green source of energy. However, at the moment, it most certainly is not green. Hydrogen needs to be cool when stored, and to store it, you'd literally need armored tanks that would prevent hydrogen from leaking out due to its low molecule size. This process is known as hydrogen embrittlement. Metals generally deteriorate much faster when in contact with hydrogen. This means that the tanks will need to be checked and replaced regularly, as unlike gasoline, hydrogen is highly flammable and explosive under external factors. This means that car crashes, if the hydrogen tanks get punctured, will almost exclusively result in the fiery demise of the driver, which makes hydrogen combustion vehicles an extreme safety hazard, even more than lithium-ion batteries. Plus, cooling it down will require a considerably large amount of energy, which will almost exclusively come from fossil fuel power plants, which we're streaming away from. The worst of all is the fact that we haven't mastered converting hydrogen for vehicle use, which means that there's a lot of wasted hydrogen during the production phase and will also mean that the process of producing hydrogen will result in relatively high prices for consumers. Also, hydrogen combustion engines are far thirstier than their regular counterparts. To make up for the lack of horsepower, more energy needs to be used to mitigate the effect, which in essence makes hydrogen fairly unsustainable, at least when talking about regular drivers. Oh, and let's not forget that the engine will be a major mechanical component, which means that it's far more likely to malfunction and fail, as numerous parts could easily break down. Yes, we know it's a Toyota engine, and they're as reliable as a combustion engine gets. However, they're still not bulletproof if you don't take care of them. The running cost of combustion engines is much higher than the running cost of BVs. Plus, Toyota's current CEO, Koji Sato is, unlike his predecessor, actually streaming towards EVs as he believes that they're already the thing of the present and the future of vehicles. He's not giving up on hydrogen. However, he's definitely shifting Toyota's priorities. He announced that Toyota will have more than 10 EVs that are built from the ground up by the end of the decade, and he's streaming towards eventually electrifying the entire brand. However, credit where credit is due. Hydrogen combustion engines do make a lot of sense when it comes to powering trucks. Yes, electric trucks are getting more and more powerful. However, the range is still extremely low for a long hauler, which is where hydrogen combustion engines shine. 